Good luck, Marcus. Please. Enjoy your first and last game in the league, chump. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to my first game in the NBA. Now, I'm only here by default as Young hits that three. I don't know what's going on with the defense starting out already, but we're already down 3-0. Now, check this out, man. I basically got baited into playing in for the Timberwolves against the Spurs. Now, personally, I really don't want to win this game. I kind of just want to go and work on my teammate grade. My teammate grade is really big for this game because if I have a good teammate grade, I might be able to get poached by some pretty okay teams and also make a lot of money in a career. Now, I can tell y'all right now, Rudy Gay is not a shooter, but I can't leave him open like that all game, and they can't leave me open as I hit that deuce right there. Now, I am going to be gaining a bunch of fans this game. I've noticed that, you know, when you do do things right, when you let the game play out, things happen pretty good. Now... Also, just to let you guys know, this is on Hall of Fame. So, if you see me do anything that you don't think I should have done on Hall of Fame or whatever, just know I'm nice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Just know I'm nice. Just just give me my due in my career, man. The CPU got to holla at me. But it's currently 11 to 10. First quarter is almost over. I think we got time for two plays, right? Unless they get the rebound, of course. <laughs> now... Patty Mills in the paint. Don't know why he's posting up, but he gets the layup to go. Who lets Patty Mills go in the paint and just lay on him? Who who does that? Now, I pop out right here. Get the switch with Patty. Ten seconds left. Call for the screen. The screen doesn't come in time. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm scared. It's four seconds left. I pass it off because I'm, I'm scared as a dog. And oh, my goodness. He didn't pass it back. Even though I didn't have any stamina right there, guys, he didn't pass it back. Now, they sent me back in in the second quarter. We got about two minutes left, and I have done nothing. My field goal percentage is terrible. I only have two points and one assist. The NBA on Hall of Fame is hard when, you, when you're low overall, guys. I'm just saying. Now, Marcus Young, I can't lie. He was doing the business to Teague, man. I'm I just going to put it out there right now. But Jimmy Butler kicks it back to your boy for three. And you know what time it is, man. It's cash out. That is my in real life jump shot. If you guys missed that video, that video is in my My Career Series playlist. Link inside the description. Now, let me go ahead and get this pass real quick. Pull up. They got to watch the pull up. I don't think that they remember. I'm a shot creator first, baby. I'm not just a slasher. I don't just go in for dunks. I shoot too. Now, Butler, I can tell you, man, he's a little overzealous with what he does. So I know for sure I would never go to the Timberwolves as far as, you know, them for my team. Because Jimmy Butler, man, he's so erratic, bro. I don't know what to do. But check out Rudy Gay on the backdoor cut. You got to watch Rudy, baby. You got to watch Rudy. Now, what I did was I stepped up on defense because I was thinking Rudy ain't going to shoot that. And if he do shoot, he ain't going to make it. But he cut back during me with the quickness. Now, the clock is winding down. Danny Green pulls up for three. And, of course, we're on Hall of Fame. Of course, he's going to hit it. Why wouldn't he? It's 37 to 32 right now, man. I don't know what to do. Um, I've tried to score. I've tried to bring our team back. And we got about a minute and a half left in the third. Your boy got seven points. I got my field goal percentage up, but it's all right. Now, D. Rose passes it. That was a beautiful pass. Now, I know if I would have made that pass, I would have got a turnover. So, that's why I'm not a point guard. I leave it up to the guys like that. Now, we're only down three. We look pretty good, right? No, well, Ginobili's here. You know, Mr. Retired himself. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why is Ginobili in the game? Remember, this is the last year's game. So, you know, basically my first year in the NBA was uh, for the last season. Now, it's currently 37-36. I got the assist. My takeover, I'm not really worried about it. But, uh, yeah, just because, you know, everybody worries about takeover, not me, man. Takeover doesn't really last that long. I want to get that upgraded takeover where we just can't be stopped. And we get the nice stop right there. Third quarter's over. We're still down three. Hopefully in the fourth we can turn it around, man. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about turning this around. I don't think we can, but hopefully, you know, time to give us some some direction or something. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. Right back, man. Let's go score, stop, score here. Everyone talk defensively. Get stops and then let's go. Let's go. Make the game easy for each other. Make plays. Get your spacing. 
I'm not sure if his advice did anything for us, but we're going to see if we can come back here, man. Now, we got Crawford in the corner. We're both setting strings. He pulls up for three. Check out the old head. Get it. That's what I'm talking about. Hitting them threes, baby. We needed that, man. <laughs> now, the game's tied up. Spurs got the ball. Not anymore. Out on a break. And I'm running slow, but I'm making it to the rack. And I get foul right there. I needed that foul. I needed that confidence. Without that foul, I felt like I wouldn't be able to do anything here, man. So we get the nice little left hand, go up, get the foul. It's time to go to the line. He tried to save me on the way down. Patty Mills, why are you mad? Just know that I'm about to knock both of these down. Okay, I'm one for two from the free throw, but listen, just know I'm about to knock it down. <laughs> All right, man. So I told you guys that I wanted to work on my teammate grade, and my teammate grade right now is a B plus. Now, as an off-ball player, I will have to say, it is harder to get a good teammate grade on Hall of Fame if you're not in the paint. Because me, I'm out on the perimeter. And out on the perimeter, a lot of bad things can happen. Like right there, that cut to the basket, all my fault. It's a three-point game. They got so many fast break points, I don't know what to do. Now, Jamal Carver has the ball. He kicks it over to Jones. I go ahead and pop out, try to create some spacing, and he knocks down the three. What we needed, baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm sweating over here, man. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> now, we're down two. Trying to get back on offense, trying to get things flowing. Butler doesn't want any screen. And look at Butler here, man. As I pop out to the corner, what is he doing? All he had was one job, kick it to the corner. Now, some people would say, iPod, don't blame Butler for what's about to happen next. Because Marcus Young said, oh, so y'all don't want to hit? Okay. Now, not only that, guys. Look at the glitch on the court. Yes. The people that uh, are supposed to mop up the little wet spots are all in the way. So, I had to take the three, man. I had to get out that little glitchy spot right there. And, man, let's talk about being down four. Don't know what happened here. But it's okay, man. We're going to try to come back from this. You know, pass it over to Gibson, try to cut to the basket. And luckily, Anthony Towns grabs that loose ball right there. Now, he is two for eight, one for four from three. He has had a terrible game. I have been trying to carry him all game. Not only that, I am trying to make sure Marcus Young does not sauce this man up. And yes, the backdoor cut gets taken. And oh my God, why would Carl Anthony Towns give it to the small forward after the rebound? With the game on the line, he gives it to me, man. Now, we're down two. A couple seconds left. Don't know why, but I took it up on the glitch and Marcus Young. And, of course, it is over, guys. <sighs> They've already given it to Marcus Young, the player of the game. Right now, we are currently down three, but they have given him player of the game, which means we aren't winning. No matter what we do next, guys, it is over. It has been classified as over. Uh, it, don't you hate when this happens look at this guys down three six seconds left what can we do here i pop out up top calling for it like my life is on the line call for the screen gibson sets a beautiful screen but i don't step up for the limitless range shot not only do i miss it i get negative fans i take the l and marcus young has something to talk about forever man that hurts guys oh it really really hurts but we're about to hop into a cutscene. I'll be right back to talk to you guys about the badges and the VC and the earnings. Let's get it. Hey, Big Tooney, you made it. I didn't think I'd see you here. I'm here as a fan, not as a scout. Had a good game, kid. Thank you. So, uh, what you think? Am I running yet? <laughs> It's just the beginning. You have a lot of teams to choose from this summer. I'll make sure. Welcome to the NBA. Thank you. Thank you. All right now, guys, it seems that the prelude is over for me. Um, if you guys are still playing a prelude, um, more power to you. Know that you are playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. When you get the real game, I told you guys this in another video. When you get the real game and the prelude moves on, 
it switches from whatever difficulty they had it on prior to Hall of Fame. So everything for the prelude that you were playing should have been on Hall of Fame difficulty. If you didn't get any bonuses or anything like that, and you say that you had it easy, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I was getting Hall of Fame difficulty bonuses the entire time. As far as badges go, um, in this prelude, I didn't have um, a bunch of badges. But um, in the coming videos, in the next, like, I would say two to three videos that I have, you guys will see some badges that I get. Um, I earned a couple good badges, as well as the badges that I show you guys here are really good badges for my build um i have a slashing shot creator my creation video is on my channel inside my my career playlist link below inside the description um and you guys can see me in here i earned a lot of uh cat breaker points as well as um i learned a little bit of good vc um i know you guys are like bro you have 361,000 vc you don't need anything but uh i get a cat breaker i get some unlocks and the stuff that i need man layups dunks all that but I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Um, 2K19 prelude for me is over. The next uh, set of videos will be about my contract, uh, my badges, and more. Peace, guys. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.